Hey everybody, you're now listening to the Banter All Stars podcast. Today we introduce ourselves, talk about our definition of a photographer, and answer some Q and A's. Let's get it. Hey guys, welcome to our very first and probably last podcast of the year. Uh, we are Banter All Stars, and Woo-hoo. this is our first episode. Welcome, welcome everybody. So Hello. let's introduce ourselves. I'm Nigel. What do you do, Nigel? <laughs> <laughs> this is also a podcast, so oh, you know, yeah. all you heavy. Yeah. All you heavy. So uh, I work in IT. And I do photography, uh, mostly <laughs> portrait photography on the side. Um, yeah, that's me. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm Kenny, Mellow K. Uh, I do mainly portrait photography. I do shoot a bit of videos and stuff. Um, and yeah, I don't do photography full time. But hope to shed a bit of experience. Hey, I'm Lammy. Um, I do a lot of wedding photography and wedding videography. Um, getting started with these boys in portrait <laughs> photography, getting you know get their skin retouches and everything. Um, so yeah, it'll be a great journey to use all my new gear and cameras and stuff. Nice, nice. Uh, g'day, guys. My name is Tommy, and I'm a portrait photographer, and also do a little bit of like fashion and food and that kind of thing. Welcome Toy. to Banter All Stars. <laughs> you just really want to say that, do you? That's right. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Um, so the reason why we're having this podcast yes. is well, well, let's let's all share like why we want to, um, you know, want to start this podcast. How about you start first, Tommy? Okay. <laughs> well, I think the first thing, like, I think um, having a podcast is a good way, not only to like socialize, but obviously to share someone's experience and of. And also, I want to like gain a lot of a lot of knowledge um, with these three gentlemen over here, and also the other guests that we'll bring on board in the future. So that's why I want to uh, join this banter all stars. Me on to me. All right. Well, I want to join this banter all stars is because you know I think you know we all have our own understanding of photography, and you know we've got all our um, different levels of photography. Like you know, Tommy here is really good at portraits. Kenny here is really good at retouching, but you know, I, I'm not. And I'm not good at <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forgot about Nigel. You didn't see him there. Yeah, I think. I, think, I don't know. I, 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 I think a lot of us. Well, all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's, it's common amongst a lot of group, friend, friend groups where we talk a lot of shit and we think yeah. other people may be interested in our stuff. Um, so I thought, you know, I'm, I'm with, I thought mm. maybe let's put it out there. Give a bit, bit of you know value to the community, as yep. Uh, yep. Kenny likes to say, and maybe what? teach what? people. Come on, no, in Mate, a nice way. In a nice way. It's a nice way. It's nice way. It's yeah, what yeah. you say. It's what you say. Yeah. It's your it's your thing. It's like Tommy says, love this. Love this. We're all learning, guys. We're all learning. And um, and also add to add to that as well. It's really interesting because um, you know, sometimes I like to like. No, I'm not. I don't do this all the time, but I like to have uh, you know, YouTube or something running on on my phone. Have it face down yeah, just, while I was playing through the speakers while I'm driving to work. Mm-hmm. Forty minutes, half an hour, you know, just to get an update on what's going on. Sometimes you might not have the time or the energy to even watch all these YouTubes, but you can actually listen to all this and you get a bit of latest updates on what we think. And you know, this is a Melbourne photography community right here, so sometimes you just want to get that little bit of update and a bit of light hearted banter. So that's what we're here for. So you want to give give away value and like be an entertainment um, source for people who are like you know on their daily commute That's home right. or to work or that kind of thing yeah just like being a fun police at the same time as a as a teacher i guess <laughs> fun, fun police, police. <laughs> fun police That's right. well you can why do you want to be on this podcast yeah. um well mainly as you guys know i talk a lot of shit yeah uh, yeah, that's, that's another statement. And, I'm not going to uh, police for it. Well, I've always wanted to do a podcast, and I, I, I thought no better way to do it than with you boys and everyone else in the band of all stars. So, uh, obviously, we have a wealth of knowledge, and we do share it within uh, our communities and stuff. But uh, we don't really have, I guess, a format like Dave said, where you know, you get on the way to work or school or whatever you do, you can listen to this podcast. You can put it on YouTube in the background, whatever it is. You could just be, yeah, hopefully absorbing information or even providing us information. Uh, so, yeah, I thought, yeah. yeah, that's probably the reason why I did this, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a good way to have fun. And, um, you know, that means we, we can, like, talk about what we want to on this platform. And, um, yeah, really looking forward to not only completing this episode, but more episodes to come. 
So tune in every week or every fortnight or every month. Depending on how often we put this up. <laughs> and hope you like it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So while we're talking about how we're all photographers and stuff, uh, what is everyone's definition of a photographer? Who wants to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. All right. Well, well I reckon right. a, well, <laughs> traditionally. <laughs> hang on, hang on, yeah. let, let, let's quantify the question first. What is a photographer? Are we going to say what is a photographer in, in the general sense? Or are we saying what is a pro photographer versus a – I guess it's a multi-level question, right? What, what would yeah. you consider a pro photographer well, versus I think it's up to how you, how you want to answer it. Yeah, true. Yeah. Right. Let's do that. Yeah, well, I reckon let's start off. What is a photographer? Yeah. A photographer is someone traditionally someone who takes a photo, right? You look back like 50 years, 60 years ago, you got a photographer, like one person who – like one person out of hundreds who have a camera and um, each exposure – will be very expensive and it's very time consuming to develop, right? So that's actually a profession, like a professional back then. And before we get into what professional actually means, right? The photographer is that person who has the expertise to actually take that photo for you because it's it's an expensive thing to have back then, right? Now it's not just whipping out a phone and snapping a photo and just posting it up, right? So traditionally a photographer will be able to set everything perfectly, get that one shot like a sniper, get that one shot, that you will cherish forever, moments forever. So um, I reckon that's what a photography is. But then I reckon nowadays it's just a bit... Uh, the lines nowadays. are blurred. Yeah. The lines are blurred. But are you from that age? I am not from that <laughs> age. But, but, I mean, you look at that. But history is will. History is history. Well, I can tell like from your definition that yeah. like obviously you believe in traditional values. Yes, <laughs> and, yes. You know, the the I traditional am definition of a photographer. <laughs> What's um, <that> <laughs> Just- don't worry, there are no boundaries or rules to this podcast. No, there isn't. Like, uh, I think that's the whole point of banter, right? Is, yeah. Is this is how we talk outside yeah. of this anyways. You're getting the, the rawest of the raw, if nice. that's even a word. Yeah, so, like, um, so you think of a photographer as an expert uh, hmm. sniper who, um, you know, obviously uses, like, their craft in a very professional way. Correct. And create memories and uh, oh, yeah. you know, help yeah. help a client get what they uh, they cherish most, so, like a memory. So, so that kind of borders onto what I was saying is yeah, that means that, that you're de- you're defining what I, I consider to be a pro photographer. Mm. These days, literally anybody with one of these is a photographer, mm. right? Yeah, that's true. It, 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 by, the, by the general definition, someone who takes photos, literally everybody takes photos, whether it's of their cat or whether it's of... Whatever. They're, wait, they're wait, behind. Wait, wait. Who, who, who takes photos <laughs> of, oh, oh, of the cats? Do you know? <laughs> um, yeah, well, look, you know, we, we know that we know someone. I think. Yeah, I think we know someone sure, who's very yeah, good at taking cats. There's always someone who takes photos of pets. Yeah. Hey, Sony has animal IAF. That's true. There's, actually- there's even a category for um, category. Yeah, for Speaking of that, though, <laughs> I have I I I, well, I haven't tried this myself because I don't have a pet, but um, I did try it on my sister's dog. Um, it's a little dog, but it actually doesn't pick up that well. It picks up like a bit of fur, Ooh. a little bit of back, it kind of like back and front forwards a little bit. So when it's actually running towards you, there's actually not much value in that animal I detect. No, you have anyway. to turn. You have to actually yeah, turn. I know, I know. You turn it off. To- <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. Has, has it been mm-hmm. like a, a softer function for like a while now? Or is it brand new? It's quite new. It, it was released. Well, like, it's, early, it's, early it's early days. It's early days. It's like yeah. April? April. 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 But yeah. I think um, in saying that, right, if um, Sony, it was Sony, right? Yeah. If, if so many other ones who are developing this technology, obviously they see a market and a future in mm. not just people photography, but also like potentially in like pets or like other like moving objects or beings and that kind of thing. Um, what kind of beings? Well, the know, kind man. of objects. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Not just, not, not just animals, but like, you know, um, well, Nigel, actually you were continuing on your definition of a photographer. Oh, right? yeah. So, you know, that's what, that's why I think a, well, that's why I was kind of, Alluding to before, a photographer versus a pro. I, I don't consider myself a pro. I consider myself a photographer, someone who just takes photos. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, someone who takes photos and gets paid for it. And is that an professional though? Is that no, well? That's a. That's that's what well, we need to discuss. Well, right? Someone who takes photos gets paid for it, and that's their job. That's their primary yep. source primary. of income. Primary. Is that, yeah. is that is a, a pro? Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's okay, my. Well, that's my. I guess definition. Then. I guess none of us is really a pro. Well, Tommy is. Oh, Tommy's. Ah, uh, but photography isn't my prime income. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting mm. banter going on here. Discussions. But I guess, like, well, well, how about Kenny? What's your definition of a photographer? Um. Yeah, I think I think me and Nigel think like that in common is that somebody who earns it as a profession, right? 
So it's it's basically their primary source of living and uh, they don't just do it for fun. They do it like commercially and, and all types, not just like weddings or and stuff like that. So, um, but I guess like to me, I'm, I'm not a photographer for sure. Like I don't even call myself a, a professional retoucher or whatever. I'm just a, a enthusiast. Mm. Mm. Would you say? Would you call yourself? I mean, coming in future episodes of podcasts, we're going to discuss. You know, was a digital retoucher. I mean, we're like a digital artist. Would you call yourself a digital artist or creative? Uh, I don't question. know. I I deem myself as a fried chicken aficionado. Oh, I we, know that. That. <laughs> yeah, we know that. We know that. Buyer. Yep. Any fried chicken sponsors out there? Please yeah. reach out to us. We on will. our first episode with zero views. <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. Yes. Call, call, calling, calling on bells. Calling on bells. 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 Oh, boozer. Bells. Bells are boozer. Bells are boozer. We'll come. We spend. Um, but yeah, I, I yeah, I don't really. I don't really define myself with anything. I just create, I guess. Mm. I know it sounds pretentious, but it is pretentious. Yeah, that is uh, interesting. <laughs> it's interesting that you use the word create because when I think of a photographer, right, I think of capture instead mm. of create. So I think um, a photographer is someone who just captures using a camera. Um, so I would, I would actually call all of us photographers. Um, you know, we might call ourselves something else like enthusiast or like just a hobbyist and that kind of thing, and that's totally fine. Um, I just see a photographer as someone who, like, you know, just likes to capture off a camera. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's, yeah. I think with a bit more, like, meticulous approach. Like like it you is, said, with, mm. a, with snipers, right, they, well, you could, you could even be a gun enthusiast, go to, go to the sniping range and, like, do your thing, but you can't, like, not call them a sniper, I guess. Mm. Well, well I, th- I think it also depends on not just who you are as a person. I think that's maybe, like, too much of an extent. Maybe it's like, okay, what are you currently doing? So let's say if we are holding a camera, like just right now, and then we are taking photos, we are currently in the moment photographing. Mm. And then maybe maybe also in definition photographers. So so if if somebody like if you introduce yourself, right? Yeah. To anyone, would you say I'm a photographer? Oh, I think I don't know how I actually introduce myself now that I think about it. Um I think it depends on the context. Yeah, I might. I might call myself a photographer, but usually I don't. Yeah. Then what mm. do you call yourself? Hey, Tommy, hey, what do you do? Oh, <laughs> I was here like, I oh. take photos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, guys, like, my name is Tommy and I run a photography community. Yeah. Mm, okay. Oh, interesting. Well, what do you introduce yourself then? I just say that I like to take photos of people and I like to. <laughs> But you do Play client it. work. Yeah, yeah, I do client work so without like, mentioning any client names. But you know, yeah, I but, do do client work. But like, you but know, when I get you're on paid the job, for it. You got when you're on the job, you say, yeah. "Hey, like, I'm the photographer." Yeah, I'm the photographer because I am actually. Yeah, so, what, so by definition, that is a photographer. Yeah. Then why don't we say actually that a photographer is the person who's entrusted to capture those memories for the day? Like, you know, when you go to if a it's wedding a task, and stuff, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a task. That's that's anybody with a phone. Yeah, but like for example, Uncle Bob's <laughs> Uncle Bob's are now <laughs> Uncle, yeah, but Uncle, Bob's yeah, actually, Uncle Bob's nowadays actually in weddings they're told to they like this is, a, bro. this is a this is an unplugged wedding yeah. and um you know please Uncle Bob's <laughs> please please put your turn, cameras away put your cameras away <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. But they still take photos you don't you don't if you have your iPhone no, this is to all weddings well, Auntie Bob it will no be but the I think his his definition just then was the person who is entrusted entrusted, to take entrusted yeah. photos so if if somebody like say at a wedding was like oh who's the photographer. Oh wait, but I think there's a difference between a photographer and the photographer. Yeah. So he he's saying, oh, the photographer is the one who's entrusted exactly. to take. Entrusted, yeah. So, yeah. But then a photographer could be Uncle Bob. Yeah. Well, but, depends if Uncle Bob is giving them these photos and they're the in focus. Photographer. Sorry. <laughs> they both use the words photographer. But a and the are different. Yeah, I know. But the <laughs> varying degrees of photography. Yeah. So. Let's just call. Yeah. Let's just call. It, let's just call it that person who's entrusted to deliver to. I'm, the product I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Off. One of our definitions is going to piss someone else off. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the point of this podcast. And so, please give us feedback and give us facts and comments. So, <laughs> if, we, if we pissed you off through this and you don't let us know. agree with our views, just let us know. It's banter, by the way. We're not saying everything we say is absolutely correct. We're just speaking from experience. I think it's and it's absolutely yeah, it's, not correct. It's like <laughs> not correct. You know, yeah, I'm sure, like. Half the stuff we say now is not correct. It's total crap. Hey, everyone. If you're not already following us on social media, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Banter or stars.
All right, guys. So we've got some questions that we have received from our Instagram. And so let's get cracking and answer some of these. Our Thanks first... for sending it through. <laughs> Keep us sending it through. Our first one comes <laughs> from Photos by Anub. And he has asked, when did you start photography? Oh, I'm an oldie. So I've been starting. I started ages ago. Yeah. How, how did you get started into that? Actually, it was, um, I've always liked photography, but back then, Digital cameras were kind of just starting out and it was really kind of expensive. But by the time I got one, it was like a point and shoot. And I realized that um, when I was in Japan, actually, which GSM is going to be coming up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, stay tuned for that. Um, but uh, yeah, in Japan, I realized I really want to document my trip. And um, and I just had this point and shoot. And I'm like trying to, it's a Fujifilm F30, actually. Oh, no, my first one was uh, Canon Xs, but you know, Fuji, Fuji, Fujifilm. That's pretty good. And um, it took pretty good photos. And uh, I started taking photos and I got into photography. Sorry, so when was that? <laughs> a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really similar to, like, I guess, like how I started. Because I, I, when I was in high school, right, I came from a graphic design background. Oh. And I wanted to get better at, like, you know, um, I guess, like, visual arts and that kind of thing, right? <laughs> so I thought, oh, maybe I'll pick up photography to get better at, like, composition and color and that kind of thing. And so I went to, or oh, after the year 12, I went to South Korea. Uh, I don't know why I say South Korea. Like, I could, I could, I could just say would, Korea. Would you go to North Korea? <laughs> yeah. But it is South Korea. It is yeah, South Korea. I mean, yeah. It's so, the name of the country. It's not so Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I went to um, Korea and then, like, um, that's when I, before, just before the trip, I bought my first camera as well, which was the Samsung NX500. Oh, that's a pretty good camera. Yeah? Yeah, yeah it's actually pretty good. I read some reviews on it and, like, you know, I purchased this mirrorless camera and that's when I learned to obviously do, like, okay, how do I change the ISO? What does aperture mean? All that kind of stuff. And, yeah, it just started out becoming, like, travel snaps and then, obviously, now it's moved into, like, other things and, like, hmm. portraits and that kind of stuff. So it's very similar then, eh? Yep, very, very similar. How are you, Nigel? <laughs> Um, I have a habit of buying things and not using them. <laughs> hey, I, I, have that, I have that habit it's, too. It's, so so I, I, I decided, it was one of those things. I decided randomly, probably uh, 2013-ish, yep. that I wanted to buy a camera. So and I just it? did. So I bought a six, Canon 6D. Um, oh, that's not bad. So I kind of nice canvassed around and said what to get. And someone said, don't buy crop sensor, buy a full frame. Yep. And then someone said, don't buy a Nikon because they, they got more complicated menu systems. Mm. And, so, and someone said, oh, most people have Canon, so just borrow, you can borrow the lens from anybody that you know. Yeah. And, and I uh, never did, and I refused to. <laughs> and back then, um, 2013, Sony wasn't a, really a thing yet, eh? Well, it was. I guess it was it in, the, just in the A99s anything. or whatever, but they, yeah. were, they were pretty garbage. Yeah, pretty garbage, probably, yeah. Well, sorry, sorry, Sony. <laughs> Sponsorship still our way. No, that's <laughs> when they had the, what's it called, the RX, RX range, right? No, no, no. That was no, before that. That was after, range. I think. No, I think the so RX This is the, uh, the, the translucent, the translucent they used to have that they have. Back then, probably uh, the, like the A, the A series, like yeah, the, the original Alpha series, yeah. but it was the A99s or whatever. Uh, but uh, I guess the Sony Cyber Shots were the ones that were the most. I guess, oh, the, the point of shoots. The point of shoots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think that they had the RXs. No, the RX came mm. a little bit after. So, yeah, that's that's my mm. story. I mean, I, and I, I think I took, took a few shots with it for about three months. Mm. And then it sat in the cupboard for a couple of years. Oh, how did you get back into it? Um, I don't know why. I decided I wanted to do portraits. <laughs> yeah. And then I think I joined some photo walk back in the day now. Is that the same one that um, I made you? I mean, no, I mean, no, yeah, no. no, no. It was a Darwe one. Oh. Mm. Um, so Darwe is a wedding photographer in the Melbourne scene as well. Shout out to you, Darwe, <laughs> with your orange it was Photo car. workshops Melbourne, I think it was called back then. Oh, Photoholics. Yeah. Photoholics. No, no. That is Melbourne, photo workshops right? was Darwe's group oh, okay. on Facebook. Yeah, he's a good photographer. Yeah, he's good. And um, I think that was the first time. And then after that, I just started to go into workshops, like just with different photographers. And then Michael Tio was one of them. Yeah. You know, Z Sean, Zafar. Yeah. Who I and, credit uh, a lot of my. And uh, Han, Han Tae, you've been watching, you've been watching this. Yeah. Uh, that's how Nigel and I met. Thank you. I, I doubt it, but. <laughs> <laughs> he's in Malaysia now, but you know, hello, hello. Yeah, and even, I doubt it even more now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You never know. Yeah, so. <laughs> he might be bored in Malaysia. And uh, <laughs> Kenny, yeah. how about yourself? Um, when, hmm, the when I'm not too sure how to define it. Like, is it when you first took, uh, I how guess. How do you want to define it? Just keep it simple, man. Or, <laughs> well, I mean, okay. So like my definition of when I became, the, well, when I decided, uh, when I decided to do photography was, 
I don't know. I think it was about 2009, and uh, I I bought my brother's secondhand camera that uh, he didn't want to use, and it was a Nikon or Nikon D60. <laughs> <laughs> Nikon. <Yeah. laughs> Nikon. What's a Nikon? Um, <laughs> yeah. So back in the day, like Nikon was top shit. Uh, not anymore. Not anymore, for so sure. This podcast is uh 2019 December, so yeah. Like, so that, that's like a decade now. Oh shit! That's oh a decade shit! Ago. Uh, yeah. See you old, bro. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I it was a camera with um three autofocus points, and literally they were all just aligned like in a row. So wow. it was really difficult wow. to shoot. Uh, but I made the most use out of it. I even had like a how to use a D60. Um, dummies guide as well at the time so like it was just explaining yeah, like, the books. exposure aperture and stuff yeah i was getting really into it and like, i was doing night photography so a lot of long time exposure and light painting and stuff oh, and yeah. that's when i sort of understood like oh this is what shutter speed does or this is what aperture oh, does yeah, yeah, yeah. um so yeah that was about 2009 and then um for maybe like two or three years and then i stopped because um my D60 ended up having like spiders and shit all in it. What, like, inside it? Yeah, I don't know how it got, but it's not even inside. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's in the mirror or in the viewfinder. Actually, it's in the viewfinder. Oh, wow. not the viewfinder, but the. Put your eye up against that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, at the time, my girlfriend at the time, I I brought her, I bought her, sorry, a uh, D3100. Also a Nikon. Oh, Nikon. Right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, why don't Nikon? I know that, I know that <laughs> model? Um, and and then we broke up, and I decided to give her the camera because it was her present, right? So um, then for like I don't know, maybe three years or something, I just stopped photography and then had a hiatus. I, yeah, had a hiatus. Decided I wanted to come back and do photography. All of a sudden, I don't know why. Maybe just like Nigel was just decided. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, mm-hmm. Then I bought the Sony A7 Mark One. Boom. And then from then on, it's just, yeah. Wait, wasn't your first one A7S? No, A7S2 so was my second camera. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, the A7 Mark One. I was in the game Damn. early. Mm. And Sony is nothing to brag about because they were shit then, too. So, damn. Yeah, well, my one was an A7S back in 2014, December. Really, I remember they were throwing in um, three mount, EF mounts because back then, well, still, well, still, you know, EF, lens, EF lenses are the most widely used, as everyone knows, the yeah, mounts. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, you know, they were f- throwing in three, mount, three mounts and um, they had like, Tree mounts? No, 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 tree mounts. Tree. no tree mounts. No tree. Just one. Just one. Just one. Sorry, it's free. Uh, so, by the way, just just to uh, uh, oh, sorry, to in- interrupt you. We, we Banter All Stars actually has three other members. Uh, one of them is James, ex James son, endless photo Ollie, and Juan May and Hamid. Oh, and Hamid. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I can't. Can't, I can't. Anyways, James can't pronounce the number. Three. Three. Tree. Or shall I say tree? Tree. So uh yeah, that's a that's an inside joke, but for, throughout I think the whole podcast will probably be mentioning these yeah. inside jokes. And you know, for newcomers who don't know us or first time listening to podcasts. Yeah. All, all Malaysians that can't say three. I mean, don't get up get upset. It's fine. Yeah, it's that's not just right. James. Yeah, we don't have any Malaysians here, right? It's mainly Asians, I think. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Uh, it's not racist because I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so David, so you that was like five years ago. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so I, I was like I was saying, like, yeah, they got the A7S. And I actually back then, um, it was actually still really, really crap. It was way behind Canon in terms of focusing speed, um, how fast you can shoot it at, and even just single card slot. It was just way behind Canon. But you know, they have actually invested a lot in the cameras. And right now, as of 2019, December, they've got you know, up to their generation fours already. And they've been listening to their customers as they have, and um, they've been really finding it. But in a different set of podcasts, I actually recently switched back to Canon, but Ooh. you'll find out why. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, and, and, and guess what his reasons are? The total opposites of exactly everything he just <laughs> said. <laughs> just said. <laughs> what he no, just said. Because I have it's, it's like an early investor. And finally the company's growing. He just pulls it plug and sells all your shares. No, no, no. It's because I have realized your photography is more than the camera. Ooh. Just like this guy. Look at him. Right He's like a piece of shit. <laughs> hey, I, I like my piece of shit, all right? It works for me. It works for me. Yeah, exactly. That's right. right was this was this around the time when they were giving away Metabones? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. so I, I actually got one 
at that time, I think. 2014? Yeah, yeah, 2014, <clears throat> yeah. Exactly five years ago now. And stupid me got the meta bones for a Nikon. <laughs> Oh, which is what? which, which is, is horrible. horrible. Manual focus, anyways. Yeah. Like, uh, anyways, Jeep, lessons Jeep. learned. If you're gonna get adapted, don't bother with Nikon on Sony. Is that because they use? Um, it's a different uh, focus. They use a di- mechanic. I think a, it's mechanical. It's not. It's, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's actually yeah. a physical movement. Yeah, as like a latch. A, yeah, yeah. As, as opposed to a, a electronic one. That's that's why. It's- that's actually um, an interesting topic as well because the whole EF and the Nikon mount F mount, wasn't it? F mount, um, I mean, yeah, 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 it all came about. It's actually quite funny that predates all our exper- uh, photography experiences. But actually, back in the don't quote me on this, guys, but like you know, the late 80s and 90s when um, Canon needed to switch from the um, was it the F- FZ, uh, FZ, FZ, FZ mount or something <coughs> like that? They decided to kind of build autofocus into the lens, that's why I call it electronic focus, right? EF, that's why Ooh. they built the whole um, they, they took that big leap. They took a gamble and look at it. Look at we like you know 20, 30 years later, we're still using EF mount. But you know, Nikon didn't do that. They kind Even of kept Kodak. A, yeah, that's why they're kind of fading into non-existence now. I was gonna say something insulting, but I can't. <laughs> why not? <laughs> well, just in case we hurt some brands, and you know, well, oh, Kodak's no, like they're watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Look, if, if, if brands come sponsor us, we'll just pull down episode one. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, True. <laughs> but that being said, no. To be fair, to be fair, cameras are just tools. Yeah, like you give me a Nikon right now, I'll still shoot it. But mm. you know what? So says wife- the guy with like a, a cupboard full of camera gear. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's just got a lot of tools in his shadow. We're right? shooting with a Sony over there, a Sony over there, and a Sony over there. Why? It's because convenience. <laughs> it's not convenience. <laughs> Sony's are still right on top on the mirrorless game. All the other companies are playing catch up. Mm-hmm. There's no, there's no oh, way around it. I beg to They're differ. But, but that, but that oh, leads into are. that leads into like another question that we have from Stephen Koo, which is if we all swap cameras for a day, how would our outcomes be different, or would they be radically different? Um, which is a big I'd, question. I'd say, well, all of us shoot different focal lengths. I think him and I shoot different. Okay. The same. The how, same how about let, let's all go around and say yeah. what our go to go yeah. to settings are. Let's say for portraits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, well, it depends on the situation. It's either if, if I'm if I'm doing like a, uh, you know, shoulder and head type shot, I always go with the eighty five, one point mm-hmm. four, or because I'm lazy, I always shoot twenty four to seventy. Um, f eighty five one point four at one point four. Yep. yep. On the uh, Sony A seven R three. Yep. Mm, creamy bokeh. Yeah, cream. So that's that's my go to. Um, look, I'm lazy too. Twenty four seventy. And mainly twenty four <laughs> to thirty five, but uh, on the wider one, on the wider yeah, side. Yeah, I of mean, life. like you, you take it to the beach, and that's all you need. You need that one lens, and that's it. The one lens guy. Yeah, because you don't want to be changing lenses. True. That one is true. shot, one mm. kill. Yeah, no, like okay. a pro sniper. <laughs> <laughs> on the contrary, I actually like to shoot um eighty five, like same as Nigel, eighty five one point four G mass on the on the Sony, but recently switched to Canon. Um at one point four? Yeah, at one point four and also the twenty four one point four because that gives that really nice wide um unique look because it's like, you know, everything's kind of blown out of the back. It's like a lot of bokeh at the back, but you know, you got a lot of nice wide background thing. But that being said, it's not my comfortable um range. I really do prefer like a fifty five 50 to 85 range. So, right, so pick one. Different one. For the sake of this conversation, maybe just pick one. For 85. Yeah, no, 85. 85. Okay, okay. 85. Okay, 85. Okay, 85. Gonna be 85 hands down. All right. So for me, I would be shooting 35mm um, 2.0 on the Canon 5D Mark III. But your lens is a 1.4 though. But it's a 1.4. But you shoot 2. But I shoot at 2.0. So you're sharper, right? Uh, so it's a little bit sharper and also I don't like too much bokeh. Yeah. Mm, see, that's that's, that's so. Cool. So in essence, I don't think these two are going to be very difficult for. Oh, between us three, I don't think it's going to be very difficult to switch. Yeah. Um, the there will obviously yeah. be a slight learning curve, maybe for, for I to guess pick like up the, the the settings that yeah. that kind of thing. But yeah, since you, all you guys are Sony, yeah. then you guys will have the you know you have the the technicalities of it pretty much down. Yeah. Mm. I think um, maybe if anything, it's like um, it's li- really just the the focal length, right? Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I think, to be honest, like, all three of us shoot differently. Yeah. So it, 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 It'll always be different. Irrespective the of the gear we use, we always, we always shoot different. Like, Tommy prefers mm. more of the the wider uh, scenes. Yeah. Um, so does Kenny. Ken, Kenny, yeah. Kenny, Kenny, the, 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 the person is still 
a lot of the frame, like in his shots. But when like Tommy will, will take a wide shot and the person could be like one third of it. Yeah, I noticed one, that. Do- yeah. one pinky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and David, I pinky, David. <laughs> I actually yeah. like to do a lot of headshots, like yeah. um, like shoulder, like passport photos. Yeah, yeah. like Nigel. Yeah, well, that, that was, that was... <laughs> professional passport David, photos. That's right. not allowed to smile. So, yeah. so D- David, could, <laughs> David could work work in an Oz post, just yeah, taking right, passport yeah. photos. <laughs> I actually used to work at Oz post. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, um, and three the over. No, uh, well, I did some of that yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. but um. No, but 85, no, the reason why I like 85 is like because you can actually take a step back and you can actually get that thing, but also you can step a little closer. To be fair, and you're I think I'll, st- I'll struggle a little bit at 85. Yeah. I struggle at 85. I think for, for me, right, 85 is like, it's just the face. Yeah, but that's not much. That's, right? not, Everything that's, gets that's not necessarily out. true. Just step back. But but it's not only just the face. It's the it's what you think you want to take versus what you what can actually take. Happens, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, let's say for me, right? If I'm using an 85, I would originally have in mind, okay, I want to get a lot of the background and a little bit of like the 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 person, right? So if I'm holding 85, I have to like start way back to where I originally think I'm gonna have to be. And physically. so yeah, physically. So I'm gonna have to like you know just walk backwards tons, and then that's gonna make it the shoot not only longer, but I'm gonna have to like play around more with the composition, and it's all stuff that's unfamiliar. Challenge video for you, mate. There you go. Yeah, oh, we can do a challenge video. True. So that's why we should do a challenge video of like, you know, we should switch. Maybe, cameras, maybe right it's not the camera camera itself, the but the, yeah, it's the focal, focal length. length. Yeah. So to answer Steven's question, maybe it's not about swapping the cameras, but it's actually shooting with different <laughs> that's what we just said. <laughs> Oh, well. You literally would go to tell what I just said. Just, yeah. but, wait, 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 wait. But to add, to add on top of that, yeah, all right. Um, the Canon 5D Mark III is an optical viewfinder. Yeah, oh, to, but, but hey, I, think, that, I think all of us came came from. So maybe we should shoot at night. But you guys, yeah, we can, at well, night. It, 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 well, it, it would make it difficult. No, they, it, right. does, yeah, it does. It me, definitely does. For me, it's like it's easier to shoot at night with an optical. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. You, you stuff up your exposure. You won't see into your. You won't home. even know. Yeah, but I well, think that that's that comes from well, being familiar with your camera and okay, I'm, well, I'm going to see this setting and I know exactly yeah, what. Yeah, but then yeah, what with your flock of birds? <laughs> I, I, was, I was in a hurry, man. I was in a hurry. Wait, can oh. someone explain? <laughs> right. Tommy, you want to explain All right. the so flock of birds? I was, I was on a shoot recently and um, we were in like like a country field, like, yeah, a field out in the country and um, it was really wide open and, and clear skies. And then out of the blue, this flock of birds like on the floor, right? All of a sudden, they all like start flying up and migrating in like a massive massive like group right it's like a whole swimming pool sized area full of like birds i'm just like holy shit i'm trying to I'm, i need to like try to get like a portrait of this background because it's sick right and so i quickly like um compose my shot i'm like okay this is great blah blah blah, blah. and then <laughs> obviously i'm using my my viewfinder right and then i'm like wow i'm just like totally admired by like okay all these birds are flying the distance i'm like okay this is gonna be great <laughs> next minute <laughs> reviewing my photos and then i'm like oh shit I suck at F2 <laughs> and then I can't see like any of the birds in the background. It's like sensor dirt. Yeah, they, they, they all look like dirt in the back and I'm like, fuck, this is so, this, this is a little bit of a wasted moment, um, but also a lesson learned. Yeah, so, so that so, lesson learned, get an EVF next time. Oh. So, so for those no, But definitely it does make a difference because I picked up uh, my my 6D when I, when I sold it to someone and I was kind of looking at it and I tried to shoot with it and I was like, this isn't, this isn't right. I took the photo. Look, I had to chimp a lot because there's like take the photo. Oh man, this is not right. Yeah, you chimp yeah. already, you know. Already, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, so yeah, so back to Stephen's question. It might actually make it like if you if one of you to, were to use my my camera with an optical viewfinder, you might need to warm up a little bit. Yeah, because it is a, a different mm. viewfinder. But warm up anyway. He's not going to be taking bangers from number one shot. Man. You have to, you have to warm up. The bottle oh has to warm up. You have to warm. Up. I I used to do weddings with a five D two. So five D Mark two. Yeah, five D two. Yeah, it's uh, good. I yeah, used to use a five D Mark two. Yeah, it's it's pretty. It's, it's a good camera, but I reckon mirrorless, mirrorless kind of just uh made it a bit too easy. Actually, you think about it, made it mm. easy. Um, actually, a photographer like Nigel, Isn't that you're the saying, point, though? yeah, I know it is. It is. Depends. But um, you want a tool that makes it easy. That's right. Because then but, the easier it is, the more you can, <laughs> more time you can dedicate. Like, the more you get stuck in the technical part, and I'm I'm, I'm guilty of it. The 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 less my creativity comes out because I'm more worried about getting everything else right. Mm. But on the contrary, there are a group of people who obviously like um, record. I mean, <laughs> record, <laughs> a lot of people who who shoot on film, right? 
Yeah. Who shouldn't film and they love the process of it, okay, tweaking like every little mm. part of it. And so obviously that's different to like, you know, how you feel. Yeah. Um, I think we should wrap up. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, been- I think we definitely exceeded over an hour. So, uh, have you had a good drive to work or drive home? <laughs> and uh, or, or, it- or for the people like myself who don't drive or got somewhere, wherever you are listening to this, hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, hey, if you're watching YouTube, all the photos that we were talking about. Well, I think it was. Just- <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll, we'll have it we'll on have the it screen on. for you to to have a look what we're describing. Yeah. Uh, but I think we kept your company as well. Well, I think that's the hard part is the uh, how do we describe photos and yeah, it's a yeah. learning process. So we have one of these ones. Yeah, we have one of these ones, and we might put links up. Who knows? But we'll work it out. Anyways, stay tuned for the next one. See ya. Peace. See ya. Peace.